Optimal batteries are probably the most well-known performance battery in the world. On this episode of Andy's Auto Sports Short, we're going to tell you why. So what makes an optimal battery different than a typical lead acid battery? Well, a couple of things. One is it doesn't actually have a, a liquid in there. It's actually more of a gel and it's held in a sponge. A second thing is that instead of having individual lead plates, it has a spiral core and that sponge sits in between there and holds the acid in place. One of the best things about the Optima battery, if you take care of it, it's going to last a whole lot longer than your typical lead acid battery. Because this is a gel basically encased in a sponge, there is no leakage, therefore you won't have any corrosion. Now in the racing environment, this is especially good. You don't have to worry about any spillage in those extreme track conditions or that heavy duty off-road. Now these batteries typically have more cranking amp reserve than your factory battery without losing voltage. I'll get into more on that in a minute. Another thing is, let's say you do leave your lights on and the battery drains and you need to jump start it. A factory lead acid battery creates a lot of toxic gases that are explosive. These create much less, so it's much safer when jump starting your car. Now, these batteries don't discharge like a regular lead acid battery. So if you have a vehicle that you don't drive every day or maybe a little custom car in the garage, it's a great option. I bought my first one 12 years ago. It still starts my car today. Optima basically has three batteries. They have a blue top, a red top, and a yellow top. We're not going to worry about the blue top, that's designed for marine use. We're going to focus on the red top and the yellow top. Now we're going to start by talking about the yellow top, which is a deep cycle slash starting battery. What is a deep cycle battery? It's designed so that you can actually drop the voltage down 40% or so, and then it will be recharged and come back up to full capacity without losing any issues. How they do that is they change the acid content around a little bit. So it won't have quite the cold cranking amps or the cranking amps as say the red top will, but it's designed to be discharged a long way and then recharged without any, uh, any problems. This is a great battery if you're going to put a big monster stereo system in your car that's going to make your or your neighbor's ears bleed. This is the battery that you want. Otherwise, what will happen is every time that base hits really hard, you'll see your lights dim. With the yellow top, it's going to eliminate that. So now we're going to talk about the red top. Now the red top is designed to be a starter battery. Now this is going to have a little more cold cranking amps and the reason is is because it has a little different compound of acid in the battery. So in layman's terms, the more cold cranking amps you have, the easier it's going to be to fire up that hard to start vehicle. Now this has a cold cranking rating of 800 amps. Now what that means is this will supply 800 amps while still maintaining 1.2 volts per cell for 30 seconds. The deep cycle battery is only 750 cold cranking amps. Again, this is rated at zero degrees temperature. So the red top actually has more cold cranking amps than the yellow top. Now, they'll both do you great service no matter which battery you choose, but if you're not going to run the big uh, sound system or things like that, the red top is a great battery, going to give you a few more cold cranking amps and cranking amps uh, when you need them to start your car. Now, Optima makes a wide range of batteries, but only one of these styles may fit your vehicle. But I can assure you, either one of these batteries you buy is going to be far better than your factory battery or any replacement you can get. Now, as an important safety tip, whenever you're installing a battery or removing a battery, when you're removing it, always disconnect the negative side first, and when you're reconnecting, always reconnect the positive side first. We hope you've learned something today, and we'll see you on another Andy's Auto Sports Short.